A few weeks ago, we published a deep dive article on HP GreenLake for Storage Fabric Management, or SFM for short. What SFM does is it gives network admins a single pane of glass to manage, monitor, and configure an entire SAN fabric in a traditional data center. That means you could use GreenLake for SFM to manage and monitor things like the big brocade SAN directors, all the way down to small fiber channel switches, which actually means that SFM is equally applicable to the edge as it is in the data center. And even better, through the single pane of glass, admins can easily manage multiple locations without having to be physically on site. All of the locations are managed in this single view. One of the great things about GreenLake for SFM is the 180-day trial. That means even in our lab, where we have just a couple of uh, fiber channel switches, we can get this up and running easily and quickly to give this service a try. With SFM being one of the easiest GreenLake services to try out, we wanted to see what it's like to go through the process of registering for the trial, getting access, and then spinning this up in HPE's Cloud Console. That's what we're gonna to do today. We'll walk you through the process, show you how that works, and then show you the amazing visibility and control you get through a single pane of glass with SFM. Kevin's joining me to help walk us through the process on getting started with SFM. As I said, there's a 180 day free trial and all you have to do is fill out this request for evaluation form and it'll email you a, uh, a license to be able to use this. And of course, we'll link to the reg form in the description. But uh, Kevin, you put in your data and then they fire off an email, is that right? Yeah, this process uh, had maybe a 20 minute delay or so until that uh, email came through, but it was this painless. You put in the information, click submit, and um, it sends you the license key. So really easy on that front. So once you get the email and you've got the license, then what's the next step to get configured? So we get the license key in, and on the HP GreenLake uh, dashboard, there's an area to manage subscriptions. Here you uh, paste in the subscription key you get from uh, the demo. Go back, paste it in, and uh, it starts to add it into your inventory. So that puts it into your cloud console for GreenLake, and that should make the SFM service tile available, right? Yeah, so once the tile is available, that's when uh, your account starts to process it in the background and you start getting access to the different features. So you still have to go into the setup stage, but uh, this is where the pieces start really moving. Well, the setup though is, is uh, supposed to be magical, right? Auto discover your devices and that sort of thing. So once the background tasks are complete, I didn't watch you do this process yet. So I'm kind of wondering what it looks like when you actually get into SFM and, and hit go. Yeah. Now, but, uh, before the auto discovery uh, function takes place, you still have to uh, download and set up the uh, Storage Fabric Management OVA. What does the OVA do for you? That's the VM that uh, sits inside your uh, VMware environment and um, is the communication device between seeing the switches and then piping all the information out into the HP GreenLake cloud. Okay, so after you get your uh, four gig, uh, roughly, OVA download, uh, this is where you deploy the uh, template on your environment. So here, we uh, select the file and uh, go through and deploy it in your uh, own environment. This is gonna depend on how the environment's set up. In this case, we picked our uh, main uh, VMware host and uh, we're going through the stages to select the storage and give it some uh, basic network information uh, to get up and running. So here, we're just gonna place it on a uh, available data store. Uh, in this case, it's one of the SSDs inside that system. Uh, make sure it's on the uh, correct VLAN for its uh, network, uh, one that can see uh, both the switches and have outside internet access, and then it starts to deploy in the environment. Okay, so the uh, OVA is deployed in the environment. Now we're gonna load up in the uh, console to see what the uh, VM is doing. In this case, uh, there's still some initial setup. You give it an IP address and uh, allow it to talk back to the environment. Uh, but this is kind of the final stage before you go back into the uh, GreenLake environment. Okay, so here we're on the very basic management setup for uh, this OVA. We configure the static IP address uh, for the network that's uh, already deployed in here. And this is really basic stuff. You just need to give an IP address, the gateway and DNS information so it can talk to the outside world. And this is how it starts uh, communicating with uh, HP GreenLake. So not a lot, not really complicated, it's just you have to go, still go through some basic uh, setup stages here. 
Okay, so once, the, uh, once that uh, light setup is complete, you're met with this activation code. This is how the uh, OVA pairs with HP GreenLake environment. Uh, there might, there's going to be a ton of these things up and running, and this is how you identify and pair it up uh, yours to uh, that cloud interface. But in this case, take a picture of it, write it down, and you're going to use this code to uh, paste back into your HP GreenLake environment. So with the code from our uh, OVA, we go back in, we, uh, we add our data center to SFM, type in the activation code, and click Add. Now uh, GreenLake is going to go and process some things behind the scenes, and after a refresh, we're going to see some... Uh, information start to populate into this environment. Uh, so now we get to the auto discovery with the OVA in place. It can see what's on the, uh, the fabric from the switches, directors, HBAs, and, and start to pull that data in. Yeah. Okay, so here through uh, managed devices, you still need to give the credentials to the switches in your environment. Okay, so here we give it the uh, switch name and uh, IP address and username and password. And these are what, a couple G620s we have? Yeah, so that's the uh, compatible uh, device with uh, HP GreenLake. And uh, we also have the web management uh, open for uh, both of our switches just to confirm things are working. But in this case, like, it's it starts to draw it in so you can end up uh, cloud managing those devices. Right, and all you need is what, FOS 9 or something on the uh, brocade gear? Yeah, I think it's 9 or 9.1, but uh, yeah, just make sure that you have the appropriate versions uh, required for the level OVA at the time you deploy these. Okay, so we have both switches now uh, showing up in our environment and you're gonna see some warnings as it starts pulling in some of that partial information. But uh, this is in the stage where it's finally starting to see the information, start, uh, starting to auto-discover the devices connected to those switches. Now, it is worth noting that um, within GreenLake, one of the greatest things about using multiple GreenLake services is the ease of switching between them. We're not doing that here because we're only using SFM, but uh, uh, everything is well connected. So if you were using uh, GreenLake for file or block or the backup services or any of the other things, they're all well connected within the uh, cloud console. Yeah, it is pretty normal. Right now, uh, some of the devices are showing as offline. It's just, it's solid devices and it's really just partially pulling information, so it takes a few minutes for things to finally get rolling, but then eventually you're gonna see your status as normal, you get to see your uh, fabric, your switch, and you can start drilling in through hardware devices, your um, uh, sand fabric, and this is where it gets really interesting from a management perspective because you generally can't see these things unless you're directly logged in through the uh, web console and the switches directly. So physically on site or through a browser or, or some other service? Well, uh, you can do console access, so for example, CLI through um, SSH or patch directly uh, through a switch normally, or you can use a, a web interface. But generally, these web interfaces are on the management networks only. You're not exposing that over, um, over the internet, for example. You would have to drill in through a VPN. With uh, HP GreenLake, all of a sudden you get all that information uh, curated through an online interface. You don't have to worry about um, piping your HP GreenLake through a VPN, you can connect in through the single pane of glass that HP provides. And this is just a tiny environment of two switches. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, how many times have we been to, you know, reasonably sized data centers that would have the hundreds conceivably of, of directors and switches and other gear? I mean, it's uh, having this to manage a large site or even multiple sites, retailers or whatnot that have hundreds or thousands of locations. Uh, one web interface to rule them all is uh, is pretty slick. Yeah, and you, and this is also advantageous in that you don't need a lot of complex VPN uh, equipment just to get uh, your um, team configured or uh, give availability to these switches for monitoring and management. Everything is uh, handled secured through HP's interface. And most organizations will have a networking admin that will be performing these tasks. And you are, by default, our networking admin. And not to diminish your skills, but I wouldn't say that you're a networking expert. Is that fair? Uh, correct. And <laughs> you're going to see on one of these switches, there's an error. Uh, when we uh, retach the switches in our environment, I believe we have the... Uh, uh, some other switches connected to these, some older ones, through the wrong trunk port. So there's a bit of uh, a... You're getting your first flavor of, uh, of what of visualization and management of, uh, 
of the fabric, huh? Yeah, but it's funny. It brings in warnings of like wrong, tr- uh, it's like mismatched fabrics because it's on the wrong trunk port, so it's not synchronizing correctly. But it's giving you that information that you might not, you might have no idea that something's going on uh, incorrectly. Might before. have no idea? Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> I definitely had no idea. Yeah. Our, uh, our errors per switch in SFM probably set off a, uh, a trigger back in, in Houston. Yeah, but it's it's a pretty cool environment for something that uh, maybe you're not looking at your interface that often, and if you'd have to drill into the web interface for each individual switch, you're probably not going to be looking at these things on a day-to-day basis from SFM. Now you have all those items highlighted to you at a kind of a quick glance. Well, just from a... You know, we talked about having one browser to view all of your switches and, and your sand fabrics, the time savings to be able to have those alerts bubbled up and remediate them before someone complains about them or be able to respond to a complaint with quick actionable insights on a port that's down or configured improperly or whatnot. I mean, this this is a uh, a tremendous time saver, I would think. Yeah, it should be noted that uh, for large-scale deployments, uh, when you start going into uh, scripting for kind of like day one array deployment, for example, you're still probably leveraging scripts over CLI for large um, zoning protocols, things like that. That would still, I mean, that would still take hold in uh, this interface because it's this is for the web management replacement, not really the scripting side of things. Right. Uh, but from the management side of like, hey, is something, is something wrong on a switch? This is the interface that's going to collect and curate all the information for you, make it an actionable item for you uh, versus like not seeing something that was down until like smoke is coming out of your data center. <laughs> so with configuration just about done, do uh, you want to log into our live environment and maybe just show three or four of your favorite things from within uh, that view? Yeah. So right now I've uh, logged into one of our switches directly so you can see that view and then also got HP GreenLake up and running. So from your HP GreenLake interface, uh, you click on the Data Services Cloud uh, Console and then you go for your Storage Fabric Management uh, tile. Click Launch and you fall into the environment. So here you get to see a quick glance of your managed devices. One's normal, one's uh, under warning. I have not fixed the uh, trunk port yet (laughs) you're saving that for later yes that's good why fix today what you can delay till tomorrow i mean it's just a warning it's not an error (laughs) um you can see your two switches and um, this is where you can see the fabric and this is useful to see how uh, devices are zoned Um, it's kind of cool because you might not do uh, dramatic zoning um, on the on the web interface or here but it is useful if a maybe an hba is glitching out or you're trying to exclude one specific host in a quick man in a quick fashion you can do that from here you can also uh, drill into the um, uh, hardware device side which uh, this would be an area for um, the devices connected so I uh, think transceivers, or even you wanted to update your firmware without having to go onto the device itself, or maybe you want to reboot the switch. You can do all these things through GreenLake. Well, that's pretty impressive. I actually hadn't realized there was that much uh, lifecycle management within this interface as well. Yeah, so you get to uh, see all your environmental details. Uh, you can see fan speeds, uh, thermals. Uh, actually, it's a pretty cool day today in the uh, open air data center. So. Nothing's really too hot on those uh, switches. You can see licenses, interfaces, logical switches for fabric. And then to give you an idea of how this compares to the uh, live interface, a lot of it's the same, uh, same, uh, same screen information presented in a different way. So you can see your uh, uh, power, uh, thermal status, your port health, your temperatures. Um, you can also switch into your uh, switch overview. Uh, so. A lot of this information, it's the exact same information just presented through HB GreenLake. In a arguably more visually uh, approachable manner as well. And of course, not just one switch logged into directly, theoretically dozens or hundreds, right? Yeah, it's so it's sanitized. It's making it uh, so it's easier to uh, look at. And that a lot of these things, it's not necessarily it's stripping away information. It's just making sure the right information is presented to you, actionable information. 
So one last thing I'd like to point out is there is a nice audit log here. So you get to see every single activity that took place. Uh, now you're gonna see just a lot of refreshes because we haven't really been uh, changing anything, but you could see every command that took place to that switch through SFM. So overall, now that you've had some time with uh, GreenLake for storage fabric management, is this something you could see yourself using past the 180 day trial? Yeah, it's definitely useful. I mean, I like not having to drill into every single individual switch individually. And even though like I could probably find this information a different way, like I can start to look at it from a phone or a tablet or it doesn't really matter where I am. I can just see if something's going wrong. It doesn't matter where you are or what device you're on, which is uh, for your mobile lifestyle is, uh, is pretty useful. Yeah, definitely. In our lab, something like SFM gives us tremendous amount of visibility, not just into the things that we're viewing and using in our own day-to-day -day operations, but also into the ongoing changes that we're always making, whether it's new HBAs or storage or cabling or whatever it is that we're consistently turning over in our lab. Now we can better understand and visualize these components with SFM. The 180-day trial is super easy to consume and gives you great visibility into your sand fabric. We've got a full report on GreenLink for storage fabric management up on the website. We'll link to that in the description below. We'll also link to the 180 day trial URL below. All you have to do is fill out the simple form as you saw in our process and get access to SFM. It's a tremendous resource. Check that out to learn more.